No. No, don't tell me after all that we're just gonna crawl back up inside her. Oh! Oh! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Imagine Lifetime's Deadly Edition. The only game where you get to start off your journey as a faceless concrete baby, and just the thought of living a normal life blows your mind. As some of you guys may remember, I've already found a bunch of hilarious ways to ruin my life in the early version of this game. But now that the Deadly Edition has been released on Steam, I'm seeing a couple of dozen different endings, and I'm willing to bet I can find quite a few bad ones. So we're gonna go ahead and fold up this baby brain, put it back where we found it. Actually, I might want a birth mulligan. Like, I know my goal here is to make all of the wrong choices, but I would imagine making good or bad decisions would be real difficult with your wrinkles exposed. Like, I'm pretty much a cement potato with a pacifier right now. Hey, Dad, if you could go ahead and do your thing, that'd be great. And by thing, I guess I mean mom. Ooh. You were born. Yeah, thank you for that, by the way. Couldn't have been easy delivery. In a random place. Without a face. Could you explain that to me, by the way? At a random time. Yeah, I, I get it. A clock has a face, but why don't I? With a random set of genes. Genetics. Really? I somehow... Aw, oh, look at you. Now, who's your favorite parent? Just say the word, sweetie. I still don't have a top of my head. Don't be shy. I'm not shy, I'm concerned. I don't think I'm ever gonna get over the fact that this game starts off from the point of view of you shark diving your way out of your mom's cooter. And considering she probably looks like somebody set off a firework in a deli meat sandwich, the least we could do is make her the favorite parent. And she could be the first words. That's a fair trait. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. Okay, time to make some decisions. Is my favorite childhood toy gonna be bleach? Maybe it's a bottle of titty milk? Has anyone seen the laundry detergent? Nope, not so lucky. Crawl towards comfort. I think it's safe to say my parents are not off to a great start. Like, we shouldn't trust them to not have a bunch of used needles in the laundry. If this is laundry, it could be garbage. I don't really know, I'm a baby. I, I think I'm just gonna back it on up. We're just gonna head back the way we came. No. No, don't tell me after all that we're just gonna crawl back up inside her. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what? What is happening right now? Look, I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you're old enough to want to redecorate, you're too old to live inside your mother. Look, you shouldn't be able to feng shui her insides. When you buy paint and it says it's enough for a room, not a womb. Are we really gonna have to do the entire thing? Okay, oh, we're back. Let's try to make some quick and easy decisions to get through childhood. Like, I think my mom has closed her legs, got up off the floor, and taken away the cleaning products, but she replaced them with this? With mouse. I don't know if it's a stuffed mouse like a plushie, or a stuffed mouse like taxidermy. It looks like a deep fried cat. <laughs> or, or like somebody put a bear's head on a testicle, but that's my easy choice. Next. Kindergarten exercise. Well, if I'm gonna have a toy like that growing up, there's a good possibility I'm gonna become a serial killer. Which means I should probably learn to be creative. You never know when you're gonna have to turn a parent into a lampshade. Of course I would go to a school for kids without faces. Well, my friends are gonna be the kid whose legs melted in the cart and his friend and the teacher. Those are the typical three that I pick. Okay, let's keep it moving. Come on, quick childhood. Get me as far away from mom's wagoo as possible. If I was gonna grow up to murder a couple dozen people, what would my high school sport have been? Probably track and field, right? So we could chase them down. As always, it's pretty clear my crush is gonna be Mrs. Robinson. I know she looks a little bit like Loki, but trust me, she's got a thick ass. It's pretty obvious the worst after-school activity is smoking. But at the same time, I have priorities. You know, I wanna mess up my life, 
and possibly end other people's lives, and then die prematurely. So we're not gonna smoke too much. You really gotta wonder why they're making me do some of this stuff. Like, yeah, okay, if you're a child and you drink bleach, that's gonna define your life, but I don't think your first part-time job will. Like, I'm just gonna flip burgers. I'm not gonna smoke, though. Something tells me you can't get a college major in murder or serial killerism. I don't suppose taxidermy is here. We're still here because a lot of stuff is turning into smoking. No, okay. Well, I guess alphabetically the closest thing we can get is theater. <laughs> no, I don't want to smoke. Well, there you have it. We did it. We're functional adults. It's all downhill from here. They say, don't worry. You're in good hands. Excuse me? <laughs> is this from drinking the bleach? <laughs> What is this? Medical. Okay. They say we're not sure what we're dealing with. What? Am I sick? I keep trying to do things in life and it won't stop cutting me back to here. I don't suppose we just need to keep going down the medical path. Mom? Can we get rid of the meat sphere, please? They say, close your eyes. It's time to let you go. I'm made of concrete. How is this happening right now? Untreatable. Oh, great. Well, can I do anything? Everything requires a level of freedom that I don't have. Oh. We're going to miss you, but most of all, we'll remember you. Remember me is what? In your smile. What smile? I didn't have a mouth. The places you've been. The burger place? School? The times we've spent together. <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about decorating your insides. Every day you were born. Which one? I was born three times. Uh, I... I'm sorry, was this supposed to be sad? Because I'm freaking out right now. Okay, we're back! I'm not gonna claim it was the smoking, I'm not gonna claim it was the baby bleach, but I think I just died of cancer. Which is surprisingly dark. I just wanted to see if I could trick women into marrying me. So, tell me, how is your love life coming along? My love life is coming along in women, Mom. D don't take that out of context. <laughs> That's how she asked it. Can you maybe not get involved, okay? I I'm looking for the right one. Trust me, one of those has to be Mrs. Wright, right? <laughs> I just want love. Uh, you look very inquisitive, Diana. Sure, why not? Why not? Thanks for chiming in. Can you maybe not watch? We're gonna go on an adventurous date. You know, out in the woods, by ourselves, far from where anyone could hear you scream. I don't know why I've still got the serial killer mentality. We could technically bang one out right now, or choose to launch a nuke, I suppose, but I kinda wanna make it official. I want a wife. Wonderful. So, how did you two meet? Yeah, good to hear from you, Dad. I'm happy you came to the wedding. Did we have a wedding? No, she's my girlfriend. Okay, if I want to have a wedding, then I need to get a job, which is again going to be difficult because uh, I decided to go with the theater route. I think my options right now are to be a male dancer, a female dancer, or a globe. Let's try being a cartographer. Okay, I'm not trained to do that at all. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> Be perfectly honest. I'm just gonna go ahead, sign the contract, and hope that it works out. Oh! What? Life is not fair. This could have happened to anyone. What? I just got struck by lightning. Are you kidding me right now? Just what? like the universe, we are simply the product of chance. No! 
No, I don't want to see you get impregnated again, Mom. Did you, oh. Can we just speed run childhood real quick? Are you in a rush? Yes, this is the womb to doom speed run. Come on, let's go. Hey, don't be reckless. You're not my mom, kind of. Why, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> if you won't hit the brakes, something else will do it for you. I won't hit the brakes. I'm a baby. My last decision was which toy. I'm constantly accelerating. She's gonna blame me because she crashed the car. This is like Simpsons level of stupid. Let's try that again, except for this time with a little bit less cancer and lightning. I've managed to land myself a gym teacher contract. I have no doubt it's gonna be a lucrative one. <laughs> Seven days a week, too. Oh boy, yeah, thanks, Mom. Real happy with that. Ooh. How difficult do I want my job to be? I'm going to be the best damn gym teacher I can be. Best choice ever. Was it? I'm going to drink a cup of coffee? That is? Yeah! And the pennies start rolling in. <laughs> it's literally so much you loose change. That. But what will you spend it on? I'm gonna spend it on a wedding. That was the whole objective. I want to get married. Come on. You have my blessing. I know you only ever show up to say that you like her. What happened if I go with a teensy tiny ring? Oh, it's literally as small as it can get. Okay, well, we're just gonna keep making her grow and grow. Bare minimum will do. Don't be nervous. What could possibly go wrong? You say that as if something could go wrong. Pay attention. USB stick is in my ear. Okay, we've also got a fan and a cake and some letters. Letter. What, what, what is happening right now? Am I supposed to be like catching these? No. It says pay attention, but I don't know what I'm trying to pay attention to. <laughs> There's a lot of nonsense being spit into my ear right now. You've got this. Just try not to screw it up. Try not to screw what up? Oh, you have to be kidding me. Do you think someone could tell my soon-to-be wife that which USB stick the wedding photo slideshow goes on doesn't matter? I don't remember which one she told me. It, it was blue. Was it this one? I'm gonna go with the classic 64 gigabyte. Watch yourself. What? Mom, what, what do you mean? Watch myself, why was there a growling? And her rage meter went up. Rageometer? Either way, that's concerning. Choose the amount of invitations. Kinda wanna see what happens if I piss her off. I can guarantee it wasn't supposed to be that much. Okay, well, I think we're just gonna pick the worst color we can. Uh, let's go with a soft poop brown. There we go. Don't push it. Mm, you really shouldn't call her it, trust me. You get a tiny cake. <laughs> Itsy bitsy cake. Oh. Whoa. Why? Why is it raining blood? <laughs> what was my wife? Is this bad? I feel like this is bad. Everyone has a boiling point. And if you make them reach it, you'll end up wishing you were never born. Oh. I'm just gonna be reborn real quick. Well, I'll be damned, it was the apocalypse ending. So if I piss off my soon-to-be wife enough, she'll just end the planet by bleeding all over it? <laughs> Women, am I right? I'll be the first to admit, it's been a hot minute since I've looked at any kind of college application. But I'm pretty sure you don't get to write in your own answer. What exactly does escape from reality mean? Hello there. Oh. Okay. We've got a... Thunder sock? Maybe? What? Legend tells of a portal to be explored by every mortal. Oh, 
Okay, listen, as long as I don't get struck by lightning or cancer, then sure. <laughs> We've got ourselves some kind of nerd going Super Saiyan, and a spell was cast by its maker. You'll have a blast as a partaker. Alrighty then, I'll be sure to take that to heart. Oh, we got more down here. Some kind of hamburglar stealing a key. The keeper is she who holds the key, and so should the, the letter G. Do you want me to hit the letter G? That's doing something. Uh, we got anything else further down? Oh, there's a little something down here. Oh, and J. Simultaneously. Oh. Better? Oh. I did a thing. Yeah, they're not gonna process this application. Just saying. Huh? Did I just decide to drop out of college and down a bunch of pills or something? What do we have here? Whoa. Where did you find this place? <laughs> Why don't you take a break? <laughs> These games aren't gonna play themselves. I'm sorry, is that Jacksepticeye? <laughs> that was unexpected to say the least. I don't overly want to play any of this right now to be perfectly honest, but I might be done with this. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Imagine Lifetimes, guys. I didn't really have a single lifetime. I got struck by lightning, I died of cancer, I escaped reality, I, I drank bleach, like, did, did very little. I don't even know if this is gonna be enough for an episode, but if you guys wanna see more of this, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and if this video is incredibly short, I'm sorry, but I just have no idea what's happening. This is like one giant fever dream. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.